Did you watch The Night Of? The Night Of? We did, and we want to talk about HBO's new limited series because we think it is going to be the next big crime procedural series that is taking the world by storm. I'm Terry Schwartz. I'm here with Mad Childress. Howdy. And we want to dive into some spoilers. So if you haven't had a chance to watch the premiere episode of The Night Of, make sure to check it out. Get out of here. We don't want to ruin it for you. But if you have, you know that this whole series hinges upon this, this murder mystery of did our main character Nas kill this woman or not? And I guess I'll start I'll start from the top. Ahmad, do you think he did it based on the first episode? I can't tell. It's it's the the show did a really good job of throwing enough things in your face where you're like, maybe he did. And then five minutes later, maybe he didn't. Maybe he did. And there's way too many big question marks so far. And I haven't seen one definitive clue one way or the other. Yeah, I think it was very intentional in the first episode that, you know, we see a lot of moments that feel like evidence piling up. And we intentionally are with Nas up through the moment when he could have committed this murder, but of course we aren't there when he does. So so there is a big question mark, but, but there are potential theories for other people who could have done it, which we'll get into in a little bit. But for now, like it's clear that this TV show is coming in in a void of these sort of um, crime series that, that draw us all together and raptured from the fictional, like True Detective, to the nonfiction, like Serial. Sure. And I definitely saw a lot of Serial influences here. What did you think about that sort of engaging side of the storytelling? Well, the minute you see the basic setup and you see the trailer, like, oh, this is, you know, HBO's shot at Serial, the more you get into it, you see it's a little, a little more procedural, a little, more, I got a very strong homicide life on the street vibe from it. It was, to me, very apparent. A lot of people are kind of saying the wire, but I think that's just coming from the writing staff and probably some of the casting. I agree. I've actually seen through the first three episodes, and I will say, uh, no spoilers, but the the bulk of like the evidence of did Nas do it or not is in that first episode. And I'm sure this is only an eight episode season. We'll circle back around to it, and it is a limited series, so we'll get the answer by the end of this season. I do think it is uh, smart to bring in a show like this, especially after season two of True Detective, to yeah. put it nicely, was a bit of a dud uh, and didn't didn't quite perform in the same like way that it took over pop culture like wow. True Detective season one did. People weren't talking about that show in the way that I think that they're going to be talking about this show. There's so many questions in it and there's so many little missed opportunities. You know, he goes into a store, he doesn't keep the receipt. Right. He, he walks by a security camera, she has an interaction with somebody and he doesn't see that. The audience is always almost a half step above all of the characters, which really makes the anticipation of the kind of tense feeling you get around everything. But you still don't exactly know that much more than him, which is kind of frustrating too. It is, and I think that the first episode was it was done so well to keep you really on the edge of your seat. And the big question is, is, did Nas do it or not? And I agree with you. I don't think that there's evidence one way or another. I definitely think, you know, maybe he did while he blacked out, or also maybe it was not him, but but some of these other other characters and we we've been talking a little bit about how you know with the editing being so precise and the directing intentionally pointing you at certain strange moments you know you have the the gentleman who is driving the Hearst who was definitely suspicious and yeah. was sort of like threatening a bit upset yeah <laughs> um, you have not Trevor but his friend who staring guy st the staring guy who's staring straight at Nas like looking very suspicious and then later Trevor who is the pot dealer who gets brought in doesn't say that he anyone was with him, which we know is it not was the a case. super big red flag. Right. And then also the the woman who was killed, like clearly it either seemed like she wanted to commit suicide that night. There was something off about her. Yeah. Is it, you know, someone from her past? Is it someone who we don't know about yet, but could have been why she was so distraught that night? Do you have any theories right now, gut instinct, which way it's gonna go? I'm curious who else lived with her because I don't get the impression she lived by herself. So was there a roommate? Is there another person who has access to this place? And I'm right now I'm I'm kind of leading it. He may have done it. Me but, too. But, and I feel bad. I feel like I should be on his side. Yeah, but but I mean he made so many mistakes. It was like mistake of Palooza. And it was just like, no, don't do that. Oh no, no, don't do that either. Oh. You know, you feel bad for the guy, but halfway through you're like, 
you're screwing yourself, dude. So we we don't have a definitive thought about whether he did do it or not. We're leaning toward did, Probably which did hopefully by the end of this season, uh, we, we feel a little bit differently. I don't want him to, to be the murderer here. My other and last big question for you, do you think the murderer was a character in the first episode? I would think so. I, it would be very hard pressed for them to spring somebody up four episodes in, five episodes in. It was like, oh, it was Rando McCalrissian. It's like, <laughs> no, just show us who it is. That being said, if there is a character named Rando McCalrissian, we all know that that's he the did. killer right there. So those are our thoughts on the night of, this is the first episode out of eight. We're gonna be keeping up with it each each week and trying to figure out, trying to stay one step ahead of the, the series as we try and figure out who done it and what is the bigger story being told. For all things the night of TV and nerdy, keep it here at IGN. Thank <laughs> you.